Hello gamers and welcome to the first ever Imperial Stormtrooper Legions Battle Royale. Today 12 different Clone Trooper Legions will fight it out to see which one is the greatest. Let's meet the contestants. First of all we have the Imperial Shock Troopers in their red armor. Next up Elite Nova Corps Troopers in their black armor as dark as shadows. Then there's the 501st Legion, aka Vader's Fist. Next is the 442nd Siege Battalion, obviously experts in sieges. The Golden Butter Boys, in their gold armor, shine gleefully in the sun. But beside them, looming darkly, is the Forest Camo Troopers, ready to hide in the shadows of trees. Then there's your average run-of-the-mill stormtrooper in his shiny armor. Up next is the naval troopers, most capable in water, but still formidable on land. Incinerator troopers are on the opposite side of the spectrum, best in hot climates, ready for scorching heat. The Sith Guard troopers, capable of amazing feats to defend whoever they are guarding. The Sand Troopers, most commonly known for their appearance on Tatooine. And finally, the 212th Legion, formerly under the command of Commander Cody, who is now resigned to training troopers. Which of these 12 Stormtrooper Legions will come out on top in this epic battle royale? Yo, what's going on gamers? It's your boy, Daily Tactics here, back with some more Men of War Assault Squad 2, the Star Wars Galaxy at War mod, and today's video comes from a suggestion that I received on my Twitch live stream that occurred last night. Thank you uh, to the people who helped me develop this idea. I don't remember your name exactly, and I'm really, really sorry about that, but big shout out uh, to the person who recommended it on my Twitch live stream. Uh, they basically wanted me to do a all Stormtrooper Legions Battle Royale. Uh, Write, write a comment in the comment section below if this idea came from you, and I'll be sure to heart it or pin it. Uh, but yeah, we have 12 different Stormtrooper Legions here, all fighting out to see who is the strongest. Now, what I want you guys to do is comment down below in the comment section who you are rooting for the most. I don't know who's going to win this thing. They all have the same health and the exact same E11 weapons. I think I am personally rooting for the naval troopers to come in first, um, and then probably the Sip Sith Troopers for second, and then the Butter Boys over here in third, the classic Butter Boys, the P-Boys in third place. Let me know your guys' rankings on how you want this to turn out in the comment section below. Either way, guys, let's get into this video. Be sure to hit that like button. Let's try and get a thousand likes in the first 24 hours. Comment down below and subscribe if you have not already. Let's get into it here, fellas. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Alrighty then gamers, let's go ahead and press start right here and check out the battle. Alright, so right off the bat, Forest Troopers here taking quite a bit of damage as they're caught between the Butter Boys over here as well as some Shock Troopers over here. Shock Troopers also caught between Storm Troopers. Storm Troopers caught between Sith Troopers. It seems like everyone is uh, caught between someone in this instance. Right now, we've got some Sand Troopers out on the cobblestone up here while the 212th is fighting them from above taking their old man Obi-Wan Kenobi's advice by taking the high ground right there. Although it doesn't seem to be working out for them too much as they have two deaths compared to the Sand Troopers none right now. So 
for once, the high ground is not really paying off. Let's check out over here. Uh, it seems like the Nova Corps trooper is not really getting too involved in the battle, as it seems as though they've already wiped out the shock troopers over there. Shock troopers getting annihilated early, early on. Over here, the 501st is tangoing with the 442nd in the distance. The 501st has taken a few losses in this skirmish so far, uh, whereas the 442nd really hasn't taken any. Oh, there we go. The first of the 442nd finally going down right there. Now, this is actually pretty interesting. You guys know that uh, I rarely actually end up doing any original trilogy battles on this or sequel trilogy battles on this channel. I mainly focus in on the Clone Wars because, quite frankly, it's my favorite era of Star Wars. Um, so, naturally, I am most inclined to do more Clone Wars stuff. Um, and I think a lot of my audience is also very Clone Wars centric as well. So it just sort of ends up working out. So it's actually a rare instance when we get to use any of these uh, Stormtrooper skins in battles. And usually when I do Stormtrooper stuff, I tend to just use sort of the ordinary armor and not really go with a Legion or anything like that. Uh, so it's actually kind of cool to see some of these older, uh, you know, original trilogy skins that we haven't seen in battle in literal years. Like the last time I used the Butter Boys here was probably during daily gaming, which was like four or five years ago now. So it's kind of crazy seeing some of those. A big shout out to anyone who has stuck around since daily gaming time. But uh, it is kind of crazy seeing some of these older skins that have just been in the Galaxy at War files for forever that I just haven't used in ages. Same with the Sith Troopers. I, I know I've used them at least once, but I haven't since. Like, it's kind of crazy. So it's really, really cool to see some of these older older skins that we haven't used in a long time. Either way, let's take stock of the battle. A lot of legions have been wiped out almost immediately. Uh, the incinerator troopers did quick work of the naval troopers here, taking only three or four losses themselves compared to the naval troopers losing everything. That's crazy. Uh, the Nova Corps over here is doing okay. The 501st over here, uh, we could go at normal speed while we do this, is down to just a few troopers in the corner there. Vader's fist not doing too hot, and the 442nd still pressuring these guys over here. Uh, then we've got the Golden Boys over here who have lost about half of their force, I would say, uh, but they did manage to wipe out the rest of the forest troopers right there and of course the shock troopers have been dead for quite a while the 212th gets wiped out that one was surprising to me uh and the sand troopers have gone away with only a few losses themselves the sith troopers over here have a few soldiers left alive that have sallied forth a little bit and are now skirmishing with the sand troopers as well as the standard storm troopers over there uh so these guys are likely to go down pretty soon too Basically, all of the troopers that I thought would win, or at least, at the very least, wanted to win, have now died. Rooting for troopers in these series uh, seems to be the downfall of the troopers. <laughs> Anytime I'm like, yeah, I want these guys to win, they almost always lose. The Sith troopers were my second place, the uh, naval troopers were my number one, and the golden boys were uh, my number three. And the golden boys are the only ones that likely stand a chance still, and they're down to like... You know half of their force this is really really tragic boys really tragic sith troopers over here really struggling to stay alive uh these normal troopers over here still doing okay uh the 501st troopers over here uh being seriously whittled down but they're still in this fight which is good um one second i'll be right back i just really gotta blow my nose all right sorry about that ladies and gents um i am still a little bit sick if you guys recall from my last video um, oh, one last Sith Trooper left. Rip. Uh, yeah, I am a little bit sick. I did get, uh, tested for the Rona, and, uh, luckily I am negative. Uh, so that is very, very good, but I think I just have a, a cold or a little bit of a flu or something like that. Which really blows chunks, honestly, because, uh, I was supposed to be, uh, moving, uh, to California to live with my, uh, my mom out there for a little bit because I thought, hey, you know what, she's got a house out there, uh, because she had to move there for work um i've been in new england all my life like might as well move out there while she has a free room you know for me to stay in because california is very expensive otherwise um so i was supposed to move out there the other day but my sickness 
has uh, prevented me from actually being able to do the move, which was a massive, massive bummer. Uh, so right now, uh, I'm just waiting to feel better, and then I'll, I'll be heading out. This Sith Trooper boarding the bridge here to go to the other side gets caught out by the Stormtroopers out there, and that's the end of the Sith Troopers. Yikes! All right, bad way to end it. Uh, Sand Troopers still out here. Golden Boys over here. They've lost a couple more troopers, it seems. Nova Corps sort of moving slightly towards the 442nd over here. The 442nd still tangoing with just two 501st troopers over there. Still a lot of folks here. Oh, the regular stormtroopers moving towards the Golden Boys, but the Golden Boys basically have a firing line ready for them, ready to just shred them at a moment's notice, and that's exactly what they're doing. Oh my goodness, they just absolutely take those guys down without a single thought, you know, without an afterthought. That was just some absolute brutality right there. Uh, we got 442nd Legion actually uh, fighting against some of the Nova Corps troopers over here. Um, nothing really too crazy, just some sort of firing going between the two of them. Nova Corps still at full strength right now, which is really threatening. I think... All other legions have at least lost a couple of troopers, but the Nova Corps right now are just playing it nice and calm and easy uh, and, you know, making sure that they really don't take too many losses here. Uh, the 501st, uh, they're down to just one trooper hiding here, but literally one trooper is all it's, it takes, you know? We've done many of these battle royale battles between different Star Wars factions in the past, and we literally have had it where, like, one trooper wins the day, you know? Um... I think we did it with, like, all uh, trooper types for clone troopers, and I think there was, like, one ARF trooper left, or one medic, or something like that, and he just happened to win by accident. Like, it gets crazy towards the end of these things. Like, you literally never know who is going to end up winning this thing. It could be just the one lowly trooper, you know what I'm saying? Either way, the 442nd here, uh, still engaging with the Nova Corps. That seems to be about it to me. I mean, I don't really see anything else. These incinerator troopers still sort of hanging in that little area. Sand troopers still chilling in this building here. They could they could interact with the uh, the regular stormtroopers pretty soon here, actually. Let's see. Yeah, they might. Oh, they're scoping them out, actually. They're, like, waiting for a chance to strike. Now would be a good time. I mean, these guys back are turned maybe they're waiting for them to split up a little bit more because these guys are kind of in force uh golden boy is still hanging out over there yeah i mean right now it's just sort of everyone watching the nova Corps versus the 442nd right here uh and these guys haven't really made any progress towards each other the e11 is such a bad blaster rifle if we're being completely honest here like it is super inaccurate uh, and it has no range to it at all, so e each battle can be extremely extended here. I mean, we all know Stormtroopers don't have any aim, but it's probably because of how bad the E-11 truly is as a blaster rifle, which is resulting in these uh, little engagements like having almost no deaths for like five minutes of firing at each other. I mean, literally, no Nova Corps troopers have died. No 442nd troopers have died from this engagement. It's a little bit silly. Like, look at this. This guy's just standing out in the open, gets shot once, twice, you know? That, that's it. That's all the shots he took right there. And now the Nova Corps kind of slinks off into the distance again. Uh, oh, did we have a little bit of firing over here? Oh, we do. The Sand Troopers finally getting involved against the uh, standard Stormtroopers over here little bit of firing going on one sand trooper does end up going down so now these guys are alerted to their presence okay oh they're pushing out a little bit here golden boys reminding them that they're there just a little bit of a love tap just saying hey just remember guys we're here too Ooh, and that guy gets shredded right there Ooh, oh did the 501st guy move oh he did why did you choose to move out bro that was a real dingus move <laughs> why He's just sort of chilling right there. Okay. One second, guys. I really got to blow my nose again. I'm so sorry for all the pauses. I'm just sick. Okay, gamers. Nose hath been blown. Getting back into it here. Uh, going back into normal speed. All right. Uh, Stormtroopers over here seem to be engaging with the Sand Troopers yet again. Uh, just a little bit of a duel here. Nothing too crazy. Just sort of exchanging a few shots. The regular stormtroopers do have a lot more uh, troops involved in this little engagement right now, so it's definitely uh, 
probably going to be sided towards them in the long run here unless uh, these guys get out of that situation. I think the Sand Troopers kind of choked here a little bit. They had a, a really, really good chance to clobber these Stormtroopers through this flank, but they kind of dropped the ball a little bit if we're being completely honest. There was definitely a bit of a dropped ball there that was uh not super super duper well done uh golden boy still chilling over here um 442nd over this way i mean still engaging with the nova Corps. neither side has taken any losses from what i can tell in this long-term engagement and that 501st trooper right there is still just chilling why don't we go into fast speed for a little bit here and let these guys sort of fight it out because this could be a while of just sitting here watching these guys exchange fire and that is exactly what it is. I mean, look at this guy. He's just chilling there and the Nova Corps is not hitting him once. The Nova Corps definitely wins for worst aim in this entire battle. Look, this one trooper is like just out there. What is this? Five first trooper still chilling. Man, this is almost a little bit pathetic. All right, Nova Corps doing big pushes. Finally, they start to get some 442nd kills right there. 442nd holding solid against this wall, though. They do finally get the first kill on the Nova Corps. Let's move over here and check out the Sand Troopers. All right, Sand Troopers have led a couple of charges around this corner, it seems. Uh, they keep on just sort of ducking in and out, firing bit by bit. It seems like both sides have taken some losses to that. Oh, okay, wait, we got some action happening here. Okay, so the Butter Boys, I think, were firing at those sa uh, standard troopers. And the Nova Corps actually pivots, ignores the 442nd over here, and chooses to go up against these normal stormtroopers over here, which results in further losses, and it sort of gives the edge to the sand troopers over there. This was not an outcome I was expecting in the slightest. I did not expect the Nova Corps to just sort of walk away from the fight on the other side and go up against these guys instead completely like they just are choosing to ignore the entire other half of the battle and just go for these guys that is nutso to me look at this they're doing it so cockily too they're just waltzing around who gives a hoot and the incinerator troopers uh have now solidified their defenses over here but again they're still just chilling over here the incinerator troopers are not leaving. <laughs> they, they, they have claimed that territory and they're like, nope, this is ours. We will not be leaving this area. Uh, the golden uh, butter boys over here are getting involved in the battle a little bit. There's some exchange of fire between them and the Nova Corps troopers. These guys have such a solid defensive position that I think they're going to be all set for a little bit here, especially if they just solidify this position and uh, not move from it too much. Let's check in on the 442nd over here. They're still chilling. I think they're waiting for this 501st trooper to make his move so they can finally eliminate him uh, without taking too many losses, and then they'll go join the battle over here. That's at least my hunch there the sand troopers right now sort of staying out of the battle uh and so are the regular stormtroopers these both have taken a lot of losses and i think they're seeing that the nova troopers are just on a war path right now uh and instead of engaging and furthering uh potential destruction for their own team they're choosing to let the nova Corps troopers and the butter boys over here fight it out uh by themselves the butter boys have uh, basically stayed still this entire battle. It's worked out for them in the past, and I imagine it'll probably keep working for them for a little bit here, though the Nova Corps is still very, very strong. 440 seconds, still chilling over there. Incinerator Troopers still chilling over there. Basically, everyone's chilling but the uh, Nova Corps. Sand Troopers getting involved a little bit in the battle. Maybe they're seeing this as an opportunity to take out an enemy along with the Butter Boys right now. The Nova Corps is very, very strong currently. And so if the, uh, you know, other factions work together to take them out, uh, then it'll be a lot easier for them in the long run to actually increase their probabilities of winning. You know, right now the Nova Corps and the Incinerator Troopers are the two largest factions factions sort of still alive and so if they start to take more losses here then the other factions that might be a little bit more behind in terms of numbers of troopers can start to actually reclaim some territory here uh let's go into fast speed again for a little bit here these little long-term duels tend to last quite a long time between just troopers firing at each other that's what you get with this inaccurate weapon if these guys had dc 15 a's or something like that it would be a different story i think the battle would be over a lot faster uh but with e11s they're just so inaccurate such low damage that it takes forever to even get kills no Nova Corps going on a little bit of a flank around this side, choosing to fight uh, from the left instead of head on over here. It's an interesting tactic. Oh, regular stormtroopers poking out that window there, and so are the sand troopers a little bit. Seems like they're trying to help out the butter boys almost. I think everyone sees the Nova Corps 
as a threat right now and therefore uh you know they're actually willing to work together a little bit to take them out even if that means putting each other's differences aside uh you know it'll give them better long-term chances like i was saying before so now the nova Corps are dealing with just so many different enemies but their positioning is really really good here they're spread out but also very much so in cover which allows for them to get a lot of fire out and also uh you know be able to dodge a lot of incoming fire too so nova Corps definitely has this battle down to a science i would say like they they know exactly what they're doing and what is this incinerator troopers finally getting involved in the battle perhaps they saw this as their opportunity to get involved finally and start to take out some enemy troopers uh as they all fight the nova Corps. a surprise element here completely flanking and dominating the sand troopers on the other side of this little waterway here this now this is truly something this is a complete and utter perplexing development here nova Corps and the butter boys still exchanging fire over here though now where is the 442nd that's all we need now to top this off nope they're still watching this 1501st trooper over here still not getting involved in that battle i'm telling you the 501st still can technically win for anyone rooting for them i'm sure there's a whole lot of people rooting for the 501st there always is always always all right wait what a sand trooper got up here two sand troopers three sand troopers got up here i didn't even notice the sand troopers made a play to get up to the incinerator uh troopers there of course it failed pretty miserably uh but that must have happened a while ago i feel like i, I totally missed that now the incinerator troopers are uh taking on the nova Corps as well that might not have been the best idea for the incinerator troopers to do because now they're just fighting all of the factions at once up here they do have a pretty good solid vantage point i would say but the fact that they're so split up between the different uh factions attacking them I wouldn't recommend they continue this fight for too much longer, though, so, I don't know, maybe they're just trying to assert their dominance on the battlefield. The Butter Boy is probably pretty happy that a lot of the pressure has been taken off of them. Nova Corps still holding very, very strongly, by the way. They've only lost two or three troopers in this whole engagement. Um, you know, they haven't gotten too many kills, I don't think, but they are just, you know, sticking it out right now. Why don't we go ahead and check the standings? We'll go into normal speed here. Uh, so there are three sand troopers left alive total uh, one regular stormtrooper left alive uh, we've got ourselves one two three four five six seven eight nine ten butter boys left alive uh, we should also I believe have no no, no we have 14 nova troopers because only two died uh, over here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine uh, of the 442nd one 501st trooper and then for the incinerator troopers we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen incinerator troopers left alive so oh one of the same troopers does bite the dust right there uh so yeah i mean still a lot of uh, contention going around this battlefield there's still a lot of possibilities open for basically all sides right now you know this could still swing anyway oh another nova core trooper did end up biting the dust there yikes bruh uh yeah i could i could really see a lot happening for any of these factions right now uh the ones i have the worst you know idea of winning right now is definitely going to be the regular stormtroopers the sand troopers and the 501st aka the units with the least number of soldiers still alive but I think it's pretty normal to think that if uh, if they have such few numbers right now. Ooh, Butterboy's getting involved in the battle again. And actually wiping out another Nova Corps trooper right there. The Butterboys might have the highest kill percentage, you know? These guys are just dominating anyone who comes into their wheelhouse. And that is the power of having a defensive position like that. It's absolutely crazy. All right, let's go into fast speed for a little bit longer here. As you can see, these battles can last quite a long time, uh, and I do not want to interfere because in more, you know, um, serious battles like this where it's more about, like, positioning and what the AI chooses to do, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to interfere. I don't want to get involved. I want to let them do their own thing here. Another Nova Corps trooper downed 
by the Butter Boys. The Butter Boys just taking as many shots as possible. All quiet on the Western Front for a little bit here. Only one Sand Trooper alive. Oh, a Nova Corps Trooper charges. Hold up. We've got developments. A Nova Corps Trooper charges up in here. So does a 442nd Trooper. What the heck? There's some movement. That's the first time we've seen a 442nd involved in a while there. Um, okay, this is very, very interesting. Nova Corps taking another loss right there. Butter Boy is still sort of hanging out. One Sand Trooper, one Storm Trooper, and one 501st Trooper still alive. We still got all these incinerators up here. Um, did they take any more losses? Hard to tell. I don't really see any new bodies. They have shifted around a little bit. Not really seeing too many more losses, though. Uh, in terms of them. So I think they're still doing pretty well overall, I would say. This one Sand Trooper is just playing with fire by involving himself in this firefight. I don't know why he is still sticking it out and trying to fight these guys. It's a little bit stupid if you were to ask me. If I were him, I would probably just be chilling. But he is adamant. He is very, very adamant in fighting these guys. For some odd reason, he is just still going in on this fight. It's, it's rather impressive if you were to ask me. But hey, you know what? He can do what he wants to do, baby. He can do whatever he likes to do. All right. Uh, Nova Troopers over here still involved. Yeah, I mean, you still sort of got the same standings here. I am going to pause once more to blow my nose. I do apologize, guys. I'm really sorry for the interruptions. All right, guys. We can pick up where we left off right there. Um, yeah, still more firing. Let's go into fast speed a little bit more. I did hear just a blood-curdling scream right there, so someone might have dropped. Not totally sure who. Uh, sorry for the use of fast motion. I just think, you know, this could be like a two-hour long battle if we didn't use the fast motion. So we gotta, you know, cut out some of the fluff. Sand Trooper right there using that time to heal a little bit. Nova Corps uh, still getting whittled down now. I think they are strong when it comes to, like, fast and impactful hits. But when it comes to these long, drawn-out engagements, they get whittled down so easily that it's really, really problematic for them. So they are, uh, you know, still stuck in this long-term engagement between like three different sides of the battlefield, and it's resulting in more and more losses from them, whether it be for the Butter Boys fire or from the Incinerator Trooper fire. And there we go, tons of them dying now. Yeah, they must have all been really, really low health, and the Incinerator Troopers plus the Butter Boys firing at them results in a lot of death. All right, we've got some serious developments here. This standard Storm Trooper moves out and begins to fire. Is the Sand Trooper getting involved too? Not really. It's just this guy. I don't know why he moved out. It was rather stupid, and now he's getting fired out. 442nd doing an assault here on the center. Everyone just seems to be wanting to go for the center. I What are you... They just charged in and died. That was real, real dumb. All right. I don't know what I expect. Everyone seems to want to take this center position. I don't blame them. It's a great position, but honestly, just lure the incinerator troopers out. That's a better idea. Uh, the stormtroopers are all dead now. Uh, one sand trooper. Uh, Butter boys still cruising. Uh, there are seems like a couple of Nova Corps troopers. Yeah, two Nova Corps troopers left. How the mighty have fallen there. That's a bit of a yikes. Butter boys actually getting involved against the incinerator troopers here. Incinerator troopers are coming out now. Uh, they are pushing the advantage here. So it seems like they're not uh, too keen on keeping this area. They're, they're totally fine with losing it uh, and, and proceeding forward if they have to, uh, which is great for the Butter Boys and the other assaulters who uh, have been trying to take this area. I'm telling you, just congregate in the middle and you'll be fine. Don't try and take this thing, but the 442nd seems like bent on taking this thing one incinerator trooper does drop right there it's about time that they started taking some more losses it's been a while uh and uh, it looks like the nova Corps is down to one trooper right there yikes not great not great for them um all right oh the 501st trooper coming out of hiding for the first time in a long time and then he slithers back into it after taking just a couple shots at those last 442nd troopers right there very interesting one last nova court trooper hiding uh behind a bush here uh he just kind of hanging he just kind of chilling um he's not really fighting yeah, he's just kind of chilling. The Golden Boys, they just don't care. They're still chilling there. Uh, and one Sand Trooper, of course. All right, Nova Corps, uh, the last of the Nova Corps, the one final Nova Corps Trooper 
engaging with these incinerator troopers. I'm telling you, the mighty have seriously, seriously fallen during this battle. It was crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I, I'm so shocked, actually. <laughs> I think right now I am rooting for the Golden Boys to win. You know, I I think the incinerator troopers have the best shot of winning right now. Uh, but I, I'd like the Golden Boys to win. I imagine most people rooted for the 501st at the start of the battle. Um, that's just my guess. And there goes the Nova Corps trooper. That's it for them. They are all dead. So we are currently at one Sand Trooper, one 501st trooper, probably like 10 or so incinerator troopers who are all leaving this area now, which is great for the Butter Boys, who also have like 10 troopers. There's about five or six, 442nd. And of course, that one 501st trooper still remains. Um, okay, so the Butter Boys finally moving from their positions here just a little bit. Oh, yeah, they're pushing. They're pushing here. Cinerator Trooper taking on the Sand Trooper who decided to move off of his little area over there uh, pretty rapidly. He just gunned it out of there. Oh, my dog wants to come into the room. One second, guys. All right, gamers, I do apologize again for all the interruptions in this video. Not much I can do about it. Uh, we are unpaused now. And Sand Trooper standoff with the Incinerator Trooper over there. Butter Boy's moving a little bit. Ooh, we got more fire here. Oh, Incinerator Trooper's kind of coming up over the top to attack that Sand Trooper right there. 440 seconds, still sort of chilling over there. So is the 501st. He's actually healing now. Oh, the Butter Boy's move very far out, very quickly. Take out one Incinerator Trooper right there. But now they're dueling with the Sand Trooper over there, plus all of the Incinerator Troopers over there. This was a really bad mistake for the Butter Boys. I don't know why they did this. The Incinerator Troopers were even making plays to leave this little area here, and still the Butter Boys engage with them. Why'd you do that? Uh, some serious stupidity right there. Serious, serious stupidity. The Butter Boys, I think, just choked their possibility at winning here. I, I think they were geared up for a dubski, and it could have happened, but they really, really messed up right there. And ended up... Uh, you know, screwing themselves out of a victory right here. One Butter Boy remains. They fell so, so quickly. One Butter Boy, one Sand Trooper. I don't know how this guy is alive. Uh, and then all of these Nova Corps, or sorry, Incinerator Troopers right there. Oh my goodness. I can't believe the developments that are happening here. Let's go into fast speed for a little bit here. We just sort of have some dueling going on. I think this will probably be the end of the Sand Trooper right here. He's taking a lot of shots. He's still up somehow. I don't know how. All, okay, there we go. He goes down. All of the incinerator troopers all attacked him at once. Now they're sort of pressuring the butter boy. They're coming out. That's what the butter boys needed to wait for. Oh, there goes that butter boy. Oh, and now they're retreating back here. Uh, they're coming out a little bit. Oh, we finally have some firing over here again. The 1501st trooper still toying with these 442nd troopers. <laughs> he's just ducking in and out and then healing again. He's only got so many med packs though. I believe each trooper has five. Oh, he's back in, back out, back in, back out. It's non-stop with this guy, eh? He's just chilling. Oh, and he finally ends up going down right there. Incinerator troopers though, choosing to go up against the 442nd here. So right now we have five 442nd troopers versus probably 10 or 12 uh you know incinerator troopers here and that's it that's the in entire battlefield right now there we go there's one incinerator trooper down in 442nd choosing to heal a little bit right now it is a faction versus faction battle at the very end of this thing now Ooh, one 40 42nd trooper does end up going down a second one a third one it is now three of them left alive one does get a grenade off right there Oh, it's not powerful enough. Cinerary Trooper is sort of edging on in here. A little bit of fire from the 442nd. Nice, they're getting a few kills. I don't think they got this, but it's, I guess, possible. Oh my god, they're kind of going ham. Grenade! Granata! Oh, one left. Oh, counter Granata! Oh, what is happening? <laughs> oh, it's so impressive. How are you surviving this, sir? My goodness, what a what an ending. Oh, and then he goes down. But they took out like six incinerator troopers there by the very end of this thing. That is insanity. Incinerator troopers only have five soldiers left at the end, and they're heading back to their little fortress. Wow, what a battlefield, dude. I can't believe it. 
I, I'm not surprised the Incinerator Troopers won there. They just played their cards very well. You know, they, they they were really good. Real real sneaky boys right there. But everyone else, man, kind of choked it. <laughs> this was a fun battle, though. I really like that. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this. I really hope you did enjoy it. Be sure to hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below any other suggestions for good Star Wars Battle Royales we could do. Either way, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.